Welcome to the Contractor Success Map Podcast. I'm your host, Bradley Hart, and I'm an expert on how you can get the most out of your contracting company. The reason I designed this show is to help you turn your contracting company from a people-dependent money pit into a process-dependent cash cow to have the freedom you dreamed of when you start your business. Every Friday, we're releasing podcasts and information to help you get the most out of your contracting company. Be sure to join us at www.contractorsuccessmap.com and subscribe to receive our latest articles and special offers. And the best part, it's all free, just for you. Hello, everyone. Norhalma here once again, welcoming our subscribers and podcast listeners. If you're new here, thank you for allowing us to share insightful marketing, accounting, and production tips and strategies for your construction business. It's episode 516, and today, Sherry DeHart discussed construction business growth through networking and having a mentor. Let's get into it. Most business owners receive plenty of well-intentioned advice and helpful opinion from family and friends. However, good business advice spoken from commercial experience is another matter entirely. That's not to say it's hard to find, but finding a reputable source in the internet age is sometimes less than straightforward especially if you have a specific problem to solve and limited time. This is why, for good times or bad, developing a network of peers or seeking out a business mentor can be a great idea. Networking Business owners shouldn't feel they need to operate in isolation. There are several options to consider, and you're not limited to only one or a few. Developing a network of peers and colleagues is an excellent way to keep in touch with new developments, and you'll have a great resource to access when you need input and advice. Your local chamber of commerce, for example, it is likely or it is likely to be a helpful resource. They should be able to put you in touch with industry bodies and refer you to people who can give you professional advice. In addition, They might also have information and resources to help you deal with the issues you are facing. Attending meetings and events is also an excellent way to brush up on skills and meet and network with other business people operating in your area. Local chambers can be found online through the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Your Industry Buddy Most industry sectors have some organization representing the collective interest of businesses operating in the sector. Some will have more than one. They can give you industry-specific advice and put you in touch with other people in your line of business for input. These sources should also be able to refer you to reputable outside professionals if you need the help of an accountant or a lawyer, for example. They will generally also hold regular meetings where you can meet and get to know other small business owners. Once you've met or contacted a business peer or professional, swap business cards and keep their details on file. While you can do this manually, it would be more effective to include their details in your contacts on your computer and mobile and to connect with them through other networks like the business-focused LinkedIn or even Twitter. If you keep people's contact details, you can give them a call whenever you need assistance. Even if they cannot help you, they might be able to suggest someone who can. LinkedIn is a great networking resource for business people. You can join several online groups to ask relevant questions and get good advice. You can create your own if you can't find a forum to suit your needs. We are also highly recommended on Alignable. And we recommend it too. It is a great way to connect with local business owners and work from home entrepreneurs who are also there to network and market their services and might need a plumber, handy person, roofer, or remodeling soon. Credible online sources of advice. It would probably be best to meet face to face with your banker, accountant, or lawyer for financial or legal advice depending on the advice you need. 
but there are several additional resources you can turn to for assistance. The USA.gov site dedicates part of its site to small and medium businesses. The United States Patent and Trademark Office website lets you do many online functions. For the answers to several employment or health and safety issues, look at the United States Department of Labor website. Business Mentors If you are not looking for business advice on a particular problem, but are more interested in long-term direction to help you grow and develop your construction business, you should consider getting a business mentor. Mentors can act as an experienced sounding board for ideas and help you consider long-term strategies, assess your business from an independent but supportive point of view, and even connect you with others from their business networks. So how do you connect with a mentor and get the most out of your mentor-mentee relationship? Perhaps you already have an accountant but would like a construction accounting mentor. The first step to seeking a mentor is knowing the kind of guidance you and your business would most benefit from right now. For construction business owners in the early startup stage, Someone who can provide advice for surviving the first few lean years. And someone you can get in touch with more often may be the perfect fit. In this scenario, finding a mentor with a background in your industry is a plus. Mentors with relevant experience have been where you are now and understand all your issues and frustrations. Let's face it, all business owners are busy people. And although meeting with a mentor consistently is most beneficial, doing so in person regularly can be a challenge for both parties. For some mentors and mentees, what works best is video calls. Our contractor bookkeeping review, for instance, offers consultation and mentoring from Sherry and works well through a phone call or in-person meeting. To get the most out of mentoring and to demonstrate how valuable your mentor's help has been, be sure to follow up on your progress. A mentor will appreciate hearing how you've put their advice to work, your milestones and successes, and the goals you'd like to work on in the future. Acknowledging your progress will help you stay motivated by seeing how far you've come. Final Thoughts Profitable contractors attend networking events not because they have nothing better to do. They do it because it pays off. You can either spend hours doing office tasks like bookkeeping or getting face-to-face -face with someone who may need your services. Meeting people gives you the chance to build and develop relationships, hire you, or refer you to someone who might. The opportunity to learn from not just an accountant but your construction accounting mentor can do more for your business than any course, educational program, or degree. Being a mentee means you get first-hand experience without dealing with all the mistakes yourself. And that ends Sherry's blog post. Remember, we can help a little or a lot depending on your business needs. Also, our podcast promo code is still available for you to use. It's podcast20, P-O-D-C-A-S-T-2-0, podcast20. That's for a 20% discount in our fast, easy accounting store and construction accounting academy classes. If you're confused about which product to purchase or what course to enroll in or what services to outsource, Please don't hesitate to contact Sherry by calling our toll-free number at 1-800-361-1770 or our Washington State local phone line 206-361-3950. Those numbers are all a di like direct access to her. Also, you can email her at Sherry, S-H-A-R-I-E, Sherry at FastEasyAccounting.com. On behalf of Sherry and your team here at Fast Easy Accounting, this is Norhalma. Thank you all for listening. Stay safe and healthy. 
and stay tuned for upcoming episodes on how to turn your contracting company into a process-dependent cash cow. Bye for now. Thanks for tuning in. You're listening to the Contractor Success Map. If you enjoyed the show, please leave a five-star rating and review here on iTunes, and make sure to head over to www.contractorsuccessmap.com to subscribe to receive the latest articles and special offers. If you'd like to discuss your business strategy, simply click on the button labeled Strategy Session. And the best part, it's all free, just for you.